So, hello everyone. Hopefully everyone's doing great tonight. As you can see, I'm still in vacation mode at my vacation home over here. So hopefully everything sounds good. I did end up having to get another mic because the sound quality from last night was just absolutely dreadful. So now I've got a brand new mic, a mic that I've actually been wanting to buy for a while. So hopefully it sounds good for everyone here. But yeah, still using my MacBook Pro's webcam, but using my other camera as the main build cam, as you guys can see right here. So hopefully this will work out tonight. Hopefully this will work out tonight. Tonight we are building the Boulder 60, which is currently still on group buy from Helheim Designs. This is a 60% tray mount board that ends group buy this coming Sunday. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. If you've never seen the Boulder 60, which is this glass keyboard, uh, I would recommend looking at my unboxing stream. That's where I unboxed it and showcased it. But this is what it looks like right now. This is all glass. This is tempered glass, actually. So yeah, if I were to drop this, if I were to drop this, it would most likely, most likely shatter. Yeah, uh, if you caught my unboxing stream, I actually ended up putting one of my previous builds in it. And it sounded pretty darn good. It sounded pretty darn good. And because of the O-ring mounts over here, it actually felt good too. So, you know, tray mounts are starting to get better these days. But yeah, let me showcase the rest of the components I'll be using. Just to, uh, you know, go, go with the flow of a glass board. I unfortunately could not find a glass plate, but I got the next best thing. This is a polycarbonate clear plate from KBD fans right here. It's going to be a completely clear build. Building it with V2 alpacas. I was thinking of getting like like Aqua Kings, but then after a lot of uh, research on 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 Aqua Kings, I found out that they're probably not for me. So I figured I'd stick with alpaca V2s right there. Here's the thing that I did not anticipate. Okay, so the PCB that I'll be using is a one of sixty. HSE. So the as as far as I know, only the one up sixty HSE has hot swap and RGB underglow. This is the only board that I know of that has that. That's readily available. Um, unfortunately, this is a rather old design, and as I'm running all of this stream setup on a MacBook Pro, I only have USB C ports, and this guy, this guy right here does not support USB-C to C connection. And I only realized that today when I was testing everything out, I was like, crap. So once I finish building this, I can't actually do a typing test. I can't actually show it to you guys because <laughs> this guy does not support USB-C to C. So that sucks, that sucks. And I completely forgot that that was a problem on older PCBs, such as the one up 60 HSE. <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go. That and to top it all off, another key set that I unboxed on stream. This is EPBT. Let's see, this is showing correctly. Yes, it is. Uing Zuing. Um, so Zuing is the is the it's kind of like the alphabets for when you're learning Mandarin. Predominantly used in Taiwan. Uing means more like unprinted. It's not like an exact translation. So as I said during the unboxing stream, it's called unprinted. I think because the sub legends are a very faint gray. So here, let me just show you guys really quick. But yeah, here we go. This is it. This is the this is the key set that I'll be using. Okay, I'm using Duroc V2s. This is actually Duroc V2s from a previous build um, that I had recently disassembled. So all lubed and everything. Everything's good to go. There we go. It's got. Let's make sure I got all the screws in place. And Juchi just subscribed to Prime. Thank you so much. There we go. Let's see. Did I bring the washers? Yes, I did.
Have I seen the NK65 Oblivion Edition? I think it's probably the nicest NK65 I've seen. Out of all the different colorways, it's probably like the nicest one. I realize I'm sitting closer to my computer, so let me aim my microphone better. There we go. There we go. I have the GAT yellows on my Keychron K4, the GAT inks on my wife's K4, and the palms on my VM65. For me, yellows and GAT sound the same on the same board. I've tried all, and palms are the smoothest. I would like GAT smooth with a good sound. Okay, so I'm gonna say the fact that you can't distinguish between GAT inks and the GAT yellow sound um, I would say like you don't need to go for something that's super high end anymore. Like I'd say just just stick with the Gat Yellows. There we go. I got all the stabs. See, let's make sure I got everything screwed in properly before I continue. Da, 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 da. This blade, sixty percent. I don't know if it's flexible or bouncy. It almost feels dangerous how flexible it is. It can't be that bad. I have yet to build my blade sixty. Um, maybe sometime next week. We'll see. If you guys caught my unboxing of it, um, I think I mentioned that it it looked better in pictures. It looked better in pictures, a little too chonky in person. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna use a polycarb plate from KBD fans just to see how it goes. All right. We're gonna be using Alpaca V2s. I think if you guys are looking for like the smoothest switch, like you don't really care about sound, you just want smoothness and affordability, JWKs are really great. And Alpacas, a JWK um, switch is actually readily available or it's very commonly available. I do want to reiterate that just because I don't prefer something, it doesn't mean it's bad. Okay? Just because I don't prefer clacky, it doesn't mean that clacky is a bad sound. Like clacky is a good sound. You just have to be the right person for it. See, there we go. Dunkaroo says, I love my alpacas. Thoughts on the Ramakara? Um, it's not not my type of board, simply because of the layout. How's my day going? My day has been going great. Wife and I found a good lunch spot here, and we went to a cidery, and we just hung out pretty much, just doing nothing all day. So that was good. Mm -hmm. How's my vacation going so far? It's it it's been great. We've been eating out quite a lot, but our place also has a kitchen here. So today I actually cooked dinner. We bought way too many eggs, so I'm like, why don't I just make an omelet for dinner? And that's what I did. I made an omelet for dinner with uh, mushrooms, onions. Let's see what else: tomatoes, garlic, all that good stuff. Straight chroma. Thanks for joining in. They didn't seem like I liked retro trips. Me sad. I was hoping you did because I know the designer. Hey, you know, can't like everything. And because it is a group by news stream, you know, I don't just talk about stuff that I like, right? Like, could be stuff that I love, like, feel neutral on, absolutely hate, kind of hate, you know, all that stuff.
that a glass? No, um, straight chroma. I wish it was a glass plate, but to give that look, I chose a polycarb plate. But I've got a problem with this board. This this is a one up sixty RGB. Um, back then, so back when this board first came out, and I believe its current iteration as well, this does not support USB C to C. And my current setup right now, my current mobile setup, is just a MacBook Pro, and MacBook Pros only have a USB C port. So unfortunately, did not think about that. So once I finish building this, I can't even test the board. Can't even type on the board. Oh, reliable. <laughs> yeah, one of keyboards kind of has these old designs. Like they were, they were good back then, but these days not so much. But I will have to say that I was gonna grab one of those Nifty 60s. I believe. I think it's. I think it's called a Nifty 60. It's their new Bluetooth PCB. But unfortunately, one up still hasn't sent me one. I was going to try the Bluetooth with the glass keyboard. If the boulder was white and aluminum, you would like it more. Well, to be fair, it's, it looks like a tofu. So there is such a thing as a white aluminum tofu. So guys, this is actually the first Alpaca V2 build that I'm doing. All other Alpaca builds I've done, including my own, have all been V1s. But I've over, but I've I've also lubed all of my V1s, so I don't I don't know if V2 will necessarily feel all that different to me. When is your trip? Um, I don't know. That depends on the wife, really. But we may be looking at September October timeframe. Don't know for sure. All right, looks like I got it. Okay, let me find the rest of the components here. Here we go. Oh wait, I need to put the O-rings on. Let me grab those O-rings. Mm -hmm. Where can they be? <laughs> finally, finally, a next Balder build. Well. This boulder build isn't going too well. <laughs> Let's see. Features were definitely an improvement in housing tolerance, I've noticed. You mean like in the wobble and all that stuff? Here, did I leave them in the case? Nope, but I have a TX key, random TX key in here. Where else could I have put them? I remember putting them in a little plastic bag. Hmm, could it have fallen in the vehicle? Here, let me let me check the car real quick. <laughs> let me check the car real quick. So I totally ran out to my car with my wizard hat on and a bunch of people were just staring at me and I was like, why are they staring at me? Oh, it's because I'm wearing a wizard hat. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if like people call in and and be like, hey, there's this crazy man running around the hotel. <laughs> hmm, okay. I I might not have it. Might not, even though I distinctly remember packing them and being like, I'm going to forget these, so I'm going to place them here. Where that here is, I have no clue. Huh. I vaguely remember putting them in together with my stab, so the fact that they're not here, oh no! I can't finish the build. That sucks. Well, I guess it's tray mount, so it could technically just sit on there just right. <laughs> yeah, straight, straight chroma. I might get some calls later being like, hey, hey, uh, this is the police. <laughs> Have you seen uh, a man with a wizard hat running around? And I'm going to be like, no, I have no, I have no idea what you're talking about. No idea what you're talking about at all. 
We'll still put keycaps on it. This will probably make it feel flexier than normal. There we go. <laughs> it might even have a little bit of rattle. Let's see. Yeah, it's rattling. <laughs> Here. Let's see, LifeLark says, my magic made it disappear. My magic is stronger than yours, man. <laughs> there we go. Let's uh let's populate populate it with the key set. It's simply an experimental build. Yes, it is an experimental build of sorts. You know, I bet once I return home, I'm gonna find it on my desk. And I'll be like, ah, oh, shoot. But still, I would like to get a feel of this board. See how this goes. You just want to see how pretty it is with the lights. Yeah, not you guys aren't even gonna get that. Just because I I I overlooked a lot of keyboard building stuff from a mobile stream setups perspective. For example, this PCB does not support USB C to C. This is a MacBook Pro. All I have is USB C to C. I mean, all all I have are USB C ports. I'm like, <laughs> didn't think about that when I was packing everything. But yeah, once I once I tear down the stream, I can use what the camera and mic are are connected to to light up the board. <laughs> Oh, look, I still have one more switch to go. Let me just grab that really quick. If I tried any of the KTT switches or even Aquas, I have tried KTT switches, but not the Aquas. In fact, I was actually talking about that at the beginning of the stream, how I wanted to get some, some of those um, Aquas switches. Oh, that guy's not sitting in properly. Where can I get alpaca switches? I usually buy mine from Prime KB. I've seen them from other vendors as well. I believe even Divinity sells them. Yeah. Yeah, this this board clacks a lot. All right, let me turn off my crisp so so you guys can can hear some of this. There we go. <laughs> Let's see. Unfortunately, I can't angle it downwards too well. So here we go. Hopefully, this picks it up just fine. Let me open up the typing test here. So as I said earlier, I can't exactly connect it to my laptop. But here goes. I'm just typing a typing test, but not actually putting any data into my computer. That's what a glass keyboard sounds like. Keep in mind, it's not fully built, but that's what a that that's what a glass keyboard sounds like. Is it louder than an than an alu, alu case? Um, 
I've never actually thought of an alu case as loud, to be honest. Um, I would say it's... Man, I wish I had something to like compare to right now, but but I don't like like my first inclination to this like to say that it doesn't. It sounds muted. It kind of sounds similar to plastic. What about the weight? I don't know the specs off the bat, but I'm sure I could Google it for you here. Let me look. Helheim Designs Balder. Balder case. There we go. Let's see. According to their website, it is 1.24 kilograms. There we go. Life Alert says, I avoid tray mounts, but this is far too special to pass up. Yeah. It's like tray mounts have... have have improved over the last couple of years for for example you know like usually it's just one one two three four five six 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 different mounting points that you screw in but as of late people have been experimenting and being like okay if you take out the middle screw it'll add more flex it'll make the feel a lot more uniform and in this case in this case specifically they even add o-rings under the only four mounting pins If you look closely, you can see my PCB shifting because it's not screwed in. <laughs> and yeah, here we go. Um, let's see. We've been doing this for a little over an hour now. I guess it's time to give my initial take on this. So when I first built this board, I, I mainly just switched out my tactile build into this. You know, and I noticed quite a few things already with the with the O-rings. It it made it more uniform feeling and a lot flexier, which I quite enjoyed. Um, in terms of sound, though, I wasn't quite impressed, just because I like docky sounds. This is still very much a clacky board, and that 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 seems to be true today as well. Even with the Alpaca linear switches, this is still very much a clacky board. So in terms of sound. It's not the board for me. In terms of how it feels, like I said earlier, could not really build this board properly as it's not completely screwed in. So I can't comment 100% on the feels, but you know how how the board looks, how it came together. You know, if 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 you're looking for a different tray mount experience, this might be the board to get, because how many people can claim that they have a glass board, right? Like a lot of people in chat and in like Discord have like said, Oh Merlin, what if I drop my board? Doesn't my board completely shatter? And I'm like, yes, it will absolutely shatter. But how many times do you actually drop your board? If you're looking at this as a mobile board, something to bring to work, something to bring to school, on the bus, whatever, this is probably not the board for you because literally, are, are, are you really like, okay, imagine this as a lunchbox. Would you carry a glass lunchbox? Probably not, right? So yeah, you know. Overall, this is a very, I'd say this is a very novelty build, you know. If you just want to be able to say that you have a glass keyboard, totally buy this. The price of this board right now on Group Buy is $155. So the pricing is actually really good. It's actually really good. Um, and if you're if you're looking for a glass keyboard to experiment with, I'd say why not? I'd say why not? You know? I'd say why not? 
Of course, de definitely build it with the O-rings. And as one person said in chat, try putting the O-ring pressure mounting method. That might actually make the board feel better. Overall, um, you guys know that I don't like tray mount builds. Like I did build this with a polycarb plate and I can feel that it's very un uneven right now. So I don't know, if you're used to gasket mounts and top mounts, this is not the board for you. Discriminate says, I do carry a glass lunchbox. Wow, you're, you fancy. <laughs> Life Alert says, unique material, amazing underglow, good price equals purchase. Yeah, 155 is not a bad price for a board like this. Like I used to say that um, I would not spend more than $200 on a tray mount board. This absolutely fits within that. I know if, if I could improve a few things on this, if I could improve a few things on this, like I'm not very familiar with the glass manufacturing process, but it would be cool. It would be absolutely cool if they had some kind of um, weight here, like a brass weight, that, that would be great. And I don't like how the edges are kind of sharp like it feels like they've purposely made the edges blunt but they're still sharp i kind of prefer if they had, if, if they if they made it more rounded but like i said i'm not sure how how easy that is when you're manufacturing with glass there we go all right thanks guys for joining in um i will not be streaming anymore for the remainder of my vacation, I will actually be working on a few YouTube videos, so hopefully you guys will see those soon. Um, I am returning back to Seattle in probably Friday evening slash Saturday morning, depending on what we plan. So we may not have a Saturday build stream. Fingers crossed, finger, fingers crossed. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the stream, and I will catch you all next time. See you guys.